What's up everybody, this is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. If you are new here, I'm always making videos about mental health, so make sure that you subscribe to me on YouTube and you can also follow me on Instagram. So a lot of people don't know this, but I'm actually half black. That's right, I'm a guy who looks white, but is half black like my man Logic. Don't believe me? See that little white kid with his black family? Well, that's me. I'm here to talk about the oppression of African Americans, as well as the psychology of learned helplessness. My goal is to provide some solutions, create some empathy out there, so please be sure that you share this video. So this is Martin Seligman, who is known for being the founder of positive psychology. Back in the 1960s, researchers in Seligman's lab were doing some studies on dogs. They were pairing a noise with electric shocks to eventually see how the dogs would react to just the bell alone. After these dogs were conditioned to associate the bell with a shock, they were put into a shuttle box that looked like this. One side would give a shock and the other would be safe. The researchers predicted that when the dogs would hear the bell and feel the shock, they'd jump to the other side to safety, but they didn't. The dogs would simply curl up, hear the bell, and get shocked over and over again. The researchers thought that something must be wrong with the dogs, but Seligman realized what they just stumbled across which was learned helplessness. The dogs were trained to believe that there was nothing, absolutely nothing they could do to possibly avoid the shock. So even though it was an easy jump to the other side, they just simply gave up. So after decades of studying human behavior, Seligman realized that he saw the same behaviors in humans as he had seen in dogs. Researchers wanted to see how similar to dogs we actually were. So they took two groups of people and put them into separate rooms. In each room, they played a loud, annoying sound and told them by pushing the right sequence of buttons, the sound would turn off. The first group tried every single combination of buttons, but nothing stopped the noise. The second group had buttons that did turn off the noise. So the second part of this experiment is that they took both groups and put them into a brand new room. They could easily turn off the noise by simply waving their hand. So while the second group figured this out immediately, the first group didn't even bother moving because they had given up much like the dogs did. The moral, when life gives us a shock or an annoying sound that we can't turn off, it is our nature to simply just give up. So what's the solution? First, I think as a culture, we need to start developing more empathy by understanding the psychology behind how the human brain actually works. Second, I think my man Killer Mike has a great solution to this problem. The message that I preach to white kids um, that are in Tallahassee, that are in Atlanta, Georgia Tech, that are in places like New York, is get outside the college environment, find a child who is marginal or doing exceptional in school, who's a minority, who doesn't look like you, not of the same religion, not of the same background, help that child matriculate into college. Help them by being a big brother or big sister, help them by mentoring them, don't give them gifts, don't make yourself feel good, like, hey, I gave them a new pair of sneakers. Teach them the path you were taught to help them become a successful human being. What you're gonna get out of that experience is another human being that's taking full advantage of an educational system that can help them in their community, but more than that, it grows you as a human being to have empathy and apathy for someone who doesn't look like you is culturally not from your back. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to share this video to spread some awareness and make sure that you subscribe to me on YouTube.